So here again with uh, Muzzer after uh, away three points at Schoening with a 1-0 win. Muzzer, another win. Give us your thoughts on today's game. Yeah, firstly, like, delighted to be sitting here with three points. You know, it was a real tough fixture today. Um, come to come against a good side uh, that probably their pitch don't help them and the way they want to play. But to be fair to them, they can proper mix it up. They can play and they suck you into trying to squeeze high and then they can spin it round into the big man up front who causes major problems. And they have some good rotations in there as well. And we had to adjust in the first half of touch because they were causing us problems in the probably the middle area of the pitch without really hurting us. I don't remember Zaki having a save to make really. They had a, um, a header at the back stick maybe um, there towards the end of the half. But we had to adapt because they, they did cause us problems. Um, a big physical side as well and they can mix it in that way. So, you know, to be sitting here with three points on a day where, like I said, tough pitch, the wind was, you know, heavy. We were against in the first half. So to get in at half time nil nil, we were delighted with that, knowing that then the second half we might get a bit more, a bit more in the game, and it did turn out to you know to be like that. We've we've nicked the goal there, um, and then to be honest, again, Giles at the end it could have been three four. I think Brad's hit the post twice. He's had one blocked off the line. Casey's had one blocked off the line. Ogo should score towards the end. Rick keeps pulled a weldy off from Rick. So, you know, um, it could have been more. And again, like fair play to the lads, you know, when that don't happen, they've defended like warriors there at the end and um, made some great blocks, great headers. Um, and I, I think towards the end, we deserved three points. As you say, it's, um, it was all ours in the se second half and we could have got something, but it wasn't much in the first half. So did you change anything? Or what did you say to the boys at half time? We changed it midway through the first half um, because it, they were causing us some, some problems. So we changed it. Once we changed it, we felt a lot more comfortable and we asked different questions of them. Uh, their rotations in the final third didn't hurt us as much and it didn't allow the, the nine to be such a pinpoint for them as a vocal point for them uh, leading the line. So we managed to stop that a little bit and let their back three have the ball, um, which for us wasn't, wasn't a problem. So yeah, we changed in game and then at half time, you know, we just verbally told them how we wanted to go about the second half and then just try to be as clinical as we can when we got our opportunities, which we took on, but like I said, we could have taken a few more. So, start starting of the game, we had um, two changes from the starting level from last week. Anything to do with the conditions, or was it just a bit of rotation then? A bit of both, really. Look, we're, we're very fortunate, me and Jay, to, to have the squad that we have. We've got, you know, one Avan who's, who's not made the squad the last few, and he's travelled with the lads and his attitude and his dedication himself as well as all the boys that have come out the side. I mean, Kira Murphy started the last God knows how long before the last two. And uh, his attitude has been different class. The boys on the bench, all of them are together. We're fortunate, management and staff, we're fortunate to have the options we have. And, you know, coming in, we, we, I've said to a few of the lads, we're picking, get, we're picking teams on the game. Not necessarily on how you've done the previous game. We've got to focus on game by game. We're not looking at anything else. We've now got to go to next Saturday, no, and we go Saturday, Tuesday. So we've got to manage that in the right way. And, you know, we're proud to have the group that we have and the options that we have. So who stood out for you today in these, as you've already said, tough conditions today? I think when you come to a place like this, you've got to defend well. I thought the back three were excellent. And I thought that, you know, Tosh up here, Rob, when he come on from the centre of the pitch there, defensively, I thought we were brilliant. In their, and their key areas of the pitch, when you play a team, obviously they tweaked it a little bit and matched us up. So we knew that in the, in the centre of the park we had to be big and you know, I think the three centre halves, two midfielders were excellent, you know, they give us absolutely everything and um, you probably then can get them. And how, how good, I know we've spoken about this a couple of times, you know, not having so many midweeks now, how good is that for for us? Yeah, it depends what way you it is good, of course, you know, but going back to we've got such a good options. So, you know, Saturday, Tuesday would be nice because we can you know the boys are going to get some minutes and we can uh, we're in a fortunate position where we've got the squad to be able to you know potentially make some changes in between the Saturday Tuesday because when you go Saturday Tuesdays and you're doing that frequently that hurts your squad no matter what way you look at it, it will hurt you whether that's just in legs in general energy or if it is injuries um, so we look we've got I think we've got one one maybe and then the bank holiday maybe so a little fortunate how the fixtures have landed and our, our home pitch we haven't had many off so we're in a fortunate position but it, uh, it just means we've just got to focus 
So our focus now is preparing this week for a game Saturday uh, to roll into Tuesday. Yeah, you mentioned Saturday. Um, thoughts ahead for Saturday's game? Home? Yeah, yeah, home to Paul. Um, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure on the results. So I'm not sure how they've got on. So again, it will be a, a game that you know the, um, we're going to have to be at it at home. We know we know what we've got to do at home against anyone in this league. We need to we need to be focused, and we'll have a game plan um, for what they can bring, and then we'll try and see how we can hurt them going the other way. So that will be our focus this week, Charles. <clears throat> like I said, going into a Saturday Tuesday fixture. Uh, we just hope the, uh, the the weather isn't as wet and the, the pitch is nice and dry for next week. But. Uh, Big bunch of fans travelling today as well, and hope for a big bunch next week as well. Yeah, look, excellent there at the end. All the boys clapped them off. They were, they were excellent. I'm not sure on the numbers we had here, but it, I say it every time I'm asked about it, it really does make a difference. And the difference we've had since we've come in, and obviously performance and, and points and position helps that. But you know, even the coach today is half full with fans and without all the people that have travelled themselves so it makes a big difference and like I say all the time the, the lads can really feel it on the pitch so I hope coming in now it's only going to get bigger on our away games the home support's been outstanding so hopefully that only that can get bigger and better and you know really give the boys a push coming home. Thanks for your thoughts and we'll catch up next week. Cheers mate.